welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't clicked the button, please do so. So today we're going to measure out some lips. This is our pre-draw for latex work. So let's mark the zero, two, three, four, and six centimeters. Okay, now we're gonna turn our ruler vertical and we're gonna mark 1.5 centimeters and three centimeters at each of the dots or lines we previously drew. So we're marking at the zero, one, at 1.5 and three. We're marking at the two, at 1.5 and three. We're going to mark at three, at 1.5 and three centimeters. If you're from the US, like me, working in centimeters was a little challenging at first, but all PMU, I measure in centimeters and millimeters, so. We're gonna train ourselves. So again, we're marking at 1.5 centimeters and three centimeters. Okay, so now that we have all of these markings, we have to make them clear. And basically we have something like a rectangle. So the only part that we don't really measure and is negotiable is the center upper part of the cupid's bow. So I just draw a dot a little lower and now I'm going to draw dots for all of the main lines that I'm going to connect. I like to draw straight lines connecting the dots and then I'll curve all the edges. So you can draw the straight lines with a ruler. On a person, we don't really use a ruler to draw these lines, but it's really good practice to begin training our hand to draw straight. And you can see I'm just drawing in one direction and I'm trying to make the line not too dark and not too thick. I'm going to erase these lines gently after I connect these and um, therefore just the latex work I'll do with my permanent makeup machine will show through. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting to make the cupid's bow on the upper lip line with the outer points and now I'm going to connect the outer points at 1.5 centimeters down to the three centimeter inner three points. And this is the lower lip, the edge of the lower lip. Now I'm also going to draw the center of the lip to split the lip into the upper and lower lip. On a person, we don't really measure out the inside of the lips. I do color this um, up to the mucosa line. And if you feel with your lips, moving them together, you can feel where the mucosa or like mm, wet part of your lips then goes to the vermilion of your lips. So that is the part, the ending bottom part of where we will add lip color to. Now what I'm doing is I'm curving all of these edges and I'm curving them above the straight lines. Personally, I really like the cupid's bow more curved and not too deep of a middle point in the center. Just softness is really something I desire and the type of designs I draw for my clients. Okie doke, so here is lips, upper and lower lips. Please subscribe, like, and follow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.